Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, here in the Jurors, zucchini is in full blossom. So I'm always trying to find new ways to incorporate it into my recipes while it is at its peak. So for this quick bite, I'm showing you how to make my clean and delicious turkey stuffed zucchini boats. Now, this recipe is very easy, but it does have a few steps, but I promise you it's simple. So the first thing you wanna do is get a big pot of water coming to a boil over on the stove, and then you gotta prep the zucchini. Now you need four medium-sized zucchini, something like this would be perfect, and what we need to do is slice off the top and the bottom of the zucchini, just a nice thin slice. Then we're gonna slice the whole thing in half lengthwise. Just like that. Once you've got it in half, you're gonna grab a spoon, and what you wanna do is just scoop out the meat of the zucchini, so all the flesh inside here, leaving about a quarter inch on the bottom and around the sides of the zucchini. This is gonna be our little zucchini boat. So when you're done, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, so you're gonna keep doing that till you've done all four zucchini. You're gonna have eight halves and save the zucchini meat that you're scooping out because we are gonna incorporate that into the recipe. Now, back to that zucchini meat. What you wanna do, dump it onto a paper towel, then just gently squeeze out the excess water. Then you're just gonna dump it onto your cutting board and give it a rough chop. And then we're gonna use half a cup of this for our recipe. And whatever you have left beyond that, just pop it into an airtight container, store it in the fridge, and it's actually delicious, scrambled into some eggs or sprinkled into a salad. Get a little extra veg in. So once you've got all the dirty work behind you and your zucchini is prepped and ready to go, you are going to dump them into this pot of boiling water for one minute. Set your timer, they're going in and they're coming out. What this is gonna do is help them become a little bit more tender once they're all done cooking. Now, technically, if you didn't wanna take the extra step and you like your zucchini a little bit more al dente, you could skip this all together. But for me, I find my little ones, my two little kids, they really do prefer it when it's nice and soft and tender, so their mama takes the extra step. Now for the filling. So you wanna get a nice big saute pan heating up over a medium high heat, and to that we're gonna add two teaspoons of olive oil. Once that oil is hot, you're gonna add in one pound of lean ground turkey. I'm gonna give that a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then just use your spatula, break it up a bit, and we're gonna let this cook for about five minutes or so or until it's just starting to brown up and cooked through. Now, if you didn't have turkey, no big deal. You could do this with ground chicken, you could do a ground beef, a ground bison. Really, use what you have. Any of those options would be absolutely delicious. Okay, so once you've got your turkey right about here, you're gonna add in two cloves of fresh chopped garlic, half of a chopped onion, half of a chopped green bell pepper. Then I've got that half a cup of zucchini meat that we chopped up earlier. In you go, get a little extra veggie, and one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Now I just love these mixed seasonings because you get a whole bunch of spices in one jar. It's especially great if you are just starting in the kitchen and you're new to cooking and you're just starting to build up your spice collection because you get four or five spices in one collection. So give that a go. One more little kiss of salt, one more little kiss of black pepper, and then I've got one cup of strained tomatoes. You could also do a uh, tomato sauce there, but then you might need a little splash of water just to help thin it out. Okay, we're gonna mix this, bring everything together, and then I'm just gonna let it simmer here for about 15, 20 minutes. The goal is for the veggies to start to get nice and tender and for all those flavors to come together. Now, this is really one of my favorite types of meals because you've got a nice high quality protein surrounded by a ton of fresh seasonal vegetables. And I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but the five a day is now seven a day. So this meal is a great way to get several servings of vegetables into one dish. So once you've got your meat and veggie mixture ready to go, you're just gonna let it cool down for a few minutes so that you can handle it. And you need to get a couple dishes for your zucchini boats. Now I like these glass Pyrex dishes that I have here, and I needed two of them to fit everybody in. So again, point being guys, use what you have and just make it work. Then what you wanna do is scoop about a third of a cup of the mixture in to each boat. And you're just gonna even it out 
spread it around. So you got something like that. And then just continue and do the same thing for all eight halves. Once you've got them all stuffed like this, you're gonna to top off each boat with one tablespoon of part skim shredded mozzarella cheese. Then you're gonna take a piece of foil, cover the pan, and then you've got two choices here. And that's the beauty of this dish. You could put it in the fridge and leave it until you're ready to cook it up. And you could do that a whole day in advance. So this is a great uh, plan ahead meal. Or you can pop them right into the oven. I've got my oven ready to go at 350 degrees and these are gonna go in for 25 to 30 minutes or until the zucchini is cooked all the way through, the cheese is melted and they are calling your name. Now, if you guys wanted some other ideas on how to use up your zucchini this time of year, you could check out this video over here for my chocolate chip zucchini bread, or you could pop on over to my website, cleananddelicious.com, and you could try my summer squash frittata over here, or you could try my raw summer squash salad with feta and tomatoes. And that one's really fun because you can experiment with a little bit of raw zucchini in your diet if you haven't done that yet. Absolutely delicious. I just love this dish. You've got that fresh zucchini on the bottom, and I'm telling you, when it's in season like this, guys, even better. Stuffed with the turkey and the sauce and all those vegetables with the ooey gooey cheese on top, you guys have got to try this one. This would be a great family dinner. You could serve it with a nice big salad and some nice healthy carbs on the side, like maybe a little bit of quinoa or some brown rice pasta. You gotta give it a try. And if you guys want to print the recipe, head on over to cleananddelicious.com where you can print this and all my recipes. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. New recipes to incorporate the zucchini into while they are at its peak, the peak, their peak. Good, especially if you're beginning um, in the kitchen and you're just building up your spice jar, your spice collection. And so if you're just new in the kitchen or you're just starting to build up your spice collection, this is a great place to start. Buy the uh, mixes. Now you guys know I love these mixes because you, last time, I promise. Now you guys know how much I love these Italian seasoning mixes. Booyah. Mm. So good. You're gonna wanna get up in there.